Hi, I'm Rachel, and you're watching Bella Egypt. Can you hear? Whitney Houston came down from the skies to serenade Ashley with I will always, can you hear? Can they hear it? I will always love you. What a beautiful song. Dolly Parton sings it unbelievably well as well. Okay guys, welcome to the show. My name is Ashley and this is Bella Egypt coming at you from Nile TV International. We are here in the fifth settlement in New Cairo. First time ever, actually, that I've shot Bella Egypt away from the Sinai, oh, away from the sea, sorry. I have done it in the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea, but this time, for reasons we all know, traveling and what have you, social distancing is a little bit different. Okay, with the duck today, we're in with the duck, and we are, we are kinda talking about teachers what I do for a living and uh, and people like him uh, trainers and how really they both have a similar job uh, your mannerism uh, the way you teach other you teach people the way that you have to reflect on what you just taught was it the right way did it do any good uh, the way you uh, teach would teach a student how to get through to them the same as uh, a trainer or, or, or someone who's trying to help someone with a diet, finding out about both. So it's a very interesting discussion. And then the doctor will give you his theory on when you should stretch. This may surprise you. When you should stretch. It's very different from what we're used to hearing. Here it comes, all right? Are we in the right place? BellaEgyptNTV at gmail.com. Bella Egypt on Nile TV, that is the Facebook page where you can find out what's going on on Bella Egypt. Put a like and share with friends or just click and go straight onto YouTube and watch the 500 episodes that you never knew you wanted to watch, hopefully. Anyway, I'm glad you tuned in. My name is still Ashley and this is Bella Egypt. healthy. Bella Egypt on my TV. That's our Facebook. We are almost on a construction site here in New Cairo. Dr. Corey. Isaiah. You all right? Oh, we're, we're, we're kind of live because they're actually building this place around. We can't tell you where we are. But New Cairo, definitely. I mean, I one thing I have to admit, uh, I haven't. I don't come to Cairo very often. It changed. But the, wow, last time was uh, maybe six months ago. Uh, it was my daughter's birthday. Mm -hmm. Wow, the, the amount of street signs, the the the, the freeways, roads, the, the cleanliness mm -hmm. of the main. Mm -hmm. I don't know the inner city, uh, the cleanliness, the buildings, the the settlements that must house millions of people. And some are so huge, I can't believe it. Wonderful. I think we're Taking developing the in the good, yes. Ah, wonderful. And even to the new, to the new ah. uh, capital, ah. it's around 45 kilometers from here, ah. where the new, the new government will be. Ah. Everything will I be hear changing. I about it, but I haven't been. Mm. I haven't been. All right. On our show today, we're kind of rounding up uh, because uh, because we put shows in different order, different weeks uh, for many reasons. We're not always sure what goes on what day. Um, we want to kind of round off teaching, training, coaching, 
and it's I the know same. Dr. Uh, Hussein, Hussein, my friend, said that he's mentioned it a few times. So we thought we'd elaborate a little bit on how uh, a personal trainer uh, is the same as a teacher, in your opinion. It's very easy. You have, ah. you have different uh, breeds of students at your class, yes. and everyone needs an individual approach to overcome his shyness, weakness, lack of concentration. I have the same when a, when a client comes to me. He has a problem, fat loss, he needs muscle gain, self-confidence. Yes. So you are taking him and working on his Achilles heel. And you have to do it in a pedagogic teaching way, which is the same. You have to tackle his weak spots in a very systematic way without hurting his ego. I cannot take someone who is extremely overweight and tell him, come and hop on the balance. That would be very demotivating. Or you know someone who has a spelling a mistake in uh, saying one of the letters, mm. and you keep asking to say the same word. No, yeah. No, no, I see. But, but following on from that then, that, that also means just are, as there are bad teachers, Excellent. there are bad trainers. Definitely. So you have to actually look for someone that when they talk, you think, oh, not take their word as because I've been with a lot of people that have hurt me in a mm -hmm. gym. And I went home and I was very angry. I remember this one when I first came to Sharp 20 years ago. And he made me lift weight. No, no, your size. And I went home. I wanted to go back and punch the guy in the face because I trusted him that he, I'm paying for him to give me good advice. The problem is you're investing in your health. Ah. So he made you not return or coming back or hating exercise. And I was angry myself because I knew there was something wrong. He didn't establish the rapport. Ah. This mutual, this chemical, this emotional intelligence. He didn't build a communication line like you and a teacher. Teacher and a student, I mean. You can have someone who is with you in your class. He doesn't like the subject, but because he likes you, he will improve. You will break the ice and you will let him come to you and tell you, how can I improve? I feel I can do good. And the same happens in the personal training. And you know the big word we've missed out here that I'm sure the doctor would agree with? Reflection. You have Definitely. To reflect on yourself, and that's how you learn. I mean, with yourself, is it still you've been doing it a while? Do you still take time to reflect on what you did? Did it benefit the patient? If it didn't, how can you do it better next time? And will he bring me more clients because I acted professionally? Uh -huh. There are people with trainers, for example, they hang the whole day on the phone during the session. On the one hand, they are scrolling through messages. They don't update their certificates, okay? They don't attend workshops. These are old signs. Even if you have a six pack, you also have the muscles in your mind, not only in your biceps Analyze and triceps. Some people have a natural gift, but even if you have the natural gift, it's like being a natural runner. You're not gonna be the world champion, but you keep on- uh, But you're improving. Uh, improving, and I think those, even those that have a natural gift, for doubt, doubt, my 16 years of teaching, mm. still now, I'm wondering, how can I get through to this child? I failed three of them, and I tried my hardest. And so you try to maybe talk, think, reflect, discuss, go online, there are groups, things and like And as that. you said, you also, you're cooperating with the students, with the parents, and with the school to optimize what you're taking out ah. on the output. I have to do this with the physician, with the client and any other authority involved. If I get someone coming back from an accident, then I'd be working with the physiotherapist, the physician. If he's someone who is underage, then I have to sit with the parents. If he comes and his mood is not okay, what happened at home? There has yes, to be yes, a communication so, line. So much. It could be There's something. There's the psychological part. There's the human part. There's the bedside manner part. And sometimes There's the knowledge part. And sometimes the parents come and tell you, listen what, I've noticed this but I cannot get to the core of the problem. Mm. But because you are closer to him, please tell me what's wrong. No, so we're coming the times. most, you're becoming, there's the saying that the, uh, a chain is as strong as the weakest link. So if you are the proper link, you'll break down any ice. Yes. build up of faith instead of just uh, 
overall faith in someone because that is their title. And it's not your duty. What you do good uh, comes back. Yeah. What you you what you what you sow you sow you, you sow you reap what you sow. sow. That's the you same. What, what goes around. So, so so what are we trying to get through to you here? Find someone in whatever pr profession that you feel comfortable with, and not just because they have a title. And you say yes sir, no sir. You do and your followers. Own work. Yes. And not uh, only uh. judge people on their amount of followers, amount of subscribers, likes, and especially that stuff. Online. Yes, online. please. Do your own research, yeah. But especially if you're going to someone in this day and age, uh, and of course now everybody's online trying to get their money by, mm -hmm. you know. Online, uh, online coaching, coaching online nutrition. Oh, oh, everybody. Oh, look, we're going to say hi to the. We're going to go live. Yes. We're going <laughs> to go live. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, to finish off here, uh, people often stretch at the beginning to warm up. There's mm. also. Uh, at the end of a, uh, of a workout, there's the also the, you're walking again uh, uh, to cool down. You you were telling me there are stretches to. You always warm should down, cool if down. you warm up. Yes. I always say that a light and brisk walk, yes. and using the lightest weight for the first couple of exercises yes. is a good warm up. Okay. Stretching has its place after the exercise yes. because if you stretch before the exercise the muscle contraction will be not that strong and you ah, should I never you and you should you never mean. stretch between sets so if this is like the here you're building up mm -hmm. better than here yes and at the end you should stretch to help put it back a little bit and if you work if you work out there is a muscle tone yes. there's a muscle tension if you stretch you will not be able to get that tension again so we see people who have been here squatting now for 20 reps and then he feels pain. What he does, he goes down on the ground, he will go down like this, okay? And he will do this in order to stretch, Yes. okay? If he stretches like this and he comes up again and he tries to lift the weight again, he will not be able to lift the same weight. Mm. The same goes if you do this. Yes. This is You're stretching your quadriceps and that yes. stuff. You do it usually after you exercise, ah. not before. Because you've done this to the muscle, you build up and you're putting it back in its... In exactly. Its, so and you're not hurting it. And so you don't leave there with the muscle... Stoned. With, with, with the muscle after the effect of the workout. This is it, and this is what we I've say. Never heard that before. Like when you drive a car, you warm it up, you don't take it to a drag strip for racing. Ah. And you when you finish... Engine, what do you do? You break it in. And when you finish a run, you keep on idle for a couple of minutes. Mm. This is when you cool down. When we stretch like it will like this as a stretch, for example, on the one hand and this on the other hand. Okay. I guess the exception to this though, if you just do a yoga class and all you're doing is stretching. That definitely depends on the type of the yoga. Yoga, by the way, is very beneficial. Yes, because that then you're not actually working out the muscles afterwards. Mm. The whole thing is on the breathing and the stretching of the body, yes? The breathing and the benefits you get from yoga can be incorporated in any sports. Yeah. But there are different levels of yoga yeah. and each client has to sort himself. It's challenging, not that easy, but still a bit tempting to go on the higher level. If you combine yoga with cardiovascular exercise and resistance training, yeah. you're getting an optimal athlete, an optimum athlete. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is another show and we're not going to go through the stretching because everybody's been through a million times we're just saying that you should do it after the workout instead of before doctore see you soon it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure so i'm not sure what order all of this is in but we should have at least at least 10 episodes on youtube uh if you watch whatever day this may be that you're watching go back a week or forward a week because the exact date, and they're all Sundays, will be, will be put, it comes live, 2.30 Cairo local time Sunday, repeated Tuesday, sometimes a Friday, but the original day is the day they put on the YouTube, always a Sunday, backwards, forwards, to get the benefits of the knowledge of And don't friends. forget to put your questions down for the next run of themes we're going to have. We we'll always answer, and we'll give you uh, the the, uh, the uh, Facebook page, uh, our our uh, the personal page, and the email page, and the YouTube page a little later in the show. Been Good a pleasure, buddy. Yes, yes, yes.
you guys take care of yourself and bye bye from let's say healthy oh. good work my friend as usual Today we're lucky to have one of my friends here from Sham, Ashraf, to join us and we're going to find out a little bit about his life, his work here Hi. in Sham. Hi, Shaykh. How are you buddy? I'm fine. Yes. It's kind of funny how, how we, we met again just a little yeah, time yeah, 20 ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> and then, and then Almost, just, just, yeah. just again lately. Yes. Um, okay Ashraf, before, before I mean there, there, there seems there a lot to go through. Um, I guess as we're here in Sharm, we should start off. What brought you to Sharm? What year did you did you uh, begin your music here? And what brought you out here? Because of course, Cairo has many more clubs than here. What brought you out here? Uh, I was looking for the place which ah. is uh, nice and sea and uh, quiet. So when I started to come, like 1994, I came for work, yes. and I love the place. And I start. Uh, I decided to live in, the, in this place. And what, what, what did your parents say? Their family said the same. I mean, bye bye. Say, uh, yeah, just for life because this is a free life, you know. <laughs> Everybody's. <laughs> they were happy that he left. Get out of here, go. Yeah, please. Go. Okay, and, and, and your job in Sharm has always been in music? Yes. It's always been in music? Yes, yes. Okay, Only. well, sorry. Yeah. Oh, so I'm a little fascinated that because uh, flamenco music yes. is not something I would automatically think of for Egypt. I mean, I'd, I'd hear when, when Amr Diab plays. His music, there's a lot of Spanish. What drew you to that style of music? Uh, I started to play flamenco guitar yes. like 1996-97, uh, okay. which is I love it from uh, many guitar players and from Spain. Okay. So this style move my, my feelings, uh, my emotion, everything. So I loved it and I started to be in this style. 
Yeah. And are there a lot of different styles within the style? It was before. I started with little, little jazz, little uh, rock, pop. Okay, well, what else we're yeah. talking about? That, show me a, a little piece of how you started. This is for the beginning for the film. At the beginning, yeah, yes. the finger player, yes. Now you said, because you said you came out here in 1994, yes. you started in 1996, what yes. were you playing in 1994? I was playing commercial music, popular songs, popular... Ah, uh, okay. Yes. And then this, this, just... Yes. This is what got yeah. inside you. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. At what age did you begin your guitar? I started normal guitar when I was, when I was 17. But oh, flamenco, so not, not, not very young then. Yes, when not I started playing flamenco, it was 26, which ah. is too late, you know. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because it's a, you often think of people starting their guitar now, uh, very, very young, but 17 years old. Yes. And all of this is self-taught, or you were? Uh, yeah, self-study. Self-study. Yes. Well, you know, nowadays, actually, there is almost no excuse for anyone who wants to do anything. If you want to be a chef. YouTube, there's a million, there's yes, a million. Exactly. If you want to, even now, I have a terrible ear. I love the, I've got two guitars, I love the guitar, but I can't tune it. You go on the net, download, boom, yeah, ding, exactly. ding, ding, no, yeah. ding, 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 ding. Life you became know? easy, right, anything you, is like, yeah. you can do it on your own. Yes, exactly. So there's no excuse now for anyone that wants something, how to make clothes, to show you the beginning, and yes. the, and the way, and, uh, and how to sew, and, and, yes. and everything else. Okay, so you started back then, um, have you ever, have you ever sang with your music or you've always been the player and sometimes... I cannot are... sing. I have not the, not, not the talent to be a singer. <laughs> How does that work? Can you whistle? Yes, can whistle? I can whistle. I am a perfect whistler. I can't sing one note in tune. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, I hear a song. <clears throat> yes. I hear a song. Yeah. So I can go... And it, So I must know the song. Yes. So how come it comes out of here? Yes, yes. Look, I have this... Uh, Understandable, yes. Look, I can sing, but my voice is not good. Ah. It's not sweet. It's not uh, perfect. But is it in tune? But in, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's in tune. Ah, mine is but even in tune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's new, it's but supposed to be here, I'm singing here. It goes yeah. up, I go down. No, but no. my whistle is perfect. Yes. Which means my ear must hear it. Yeah, yeah, of course. But when it goes through, it goes, uh, it goes through the idiot phase and yeah. comes out uh, <laughs> like the frog or something like that. That's it guys, 27 minutes just flew by. Remember, Cairo local time, 2.30 on Sunday. Repeat, Tuesday, about 10.30, 11 at night. And one other time, best time to see it, it's on the TV. On YouTube, it's also great, but of course, not quite the same quality as on the, uh, as on the television. Here it comes, Bella Egypt, ntv at gmail.com. Bella Egypt on Nile TV. That's our page that is open for you to like if you like the show and share with your friends. Know what's happening, any latest news, where we're shooting, questions from you about uh, food, 
an interview, a trip you're going to make, a question about Egypt, or an Ashley that you may want on a future show. All right? Uh, flies around today. I think I was bitten by a mosquito as well. Hate that. All right. We know what's happening, and it may happen for the next year. Wash your hands. Here, the backs, the thumbs, inside, 20, 30 seconds with soap. It's okay. If you're not home, use the gel. Put a mask if you're near people. Stay away from people uh, as much as you can. It's not difficult, guys. We're all trying to do it to save the planet. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.